Oh, okay, before, now, before the new equipment arrived, there were, um, one of the reasons I was given why the U.S. refused to sell equipment to Nigeria was that the Nigerian military wasn't properly trained. Uh, well, that stands to be corrected. But then, has training been going on while you were waiting for the equipment to arrive, or is it that they were already trained and just waiting for the equipment to work with? Well, I, I, I'm sure people like you said, you have also corrected me. You didn't believe that. And you are right. In fact, allegation is just one of those things to be done about in order to handle it. But uh, I can assure you that, apart from the fact that a lot of fighting and uh, combat is ongoing, in the midst of it, our troops are training and retraining. Even in particular, and as well as other training institutions within the country, uh, there's a lot of adjustment. And you can be sure that the Nigerian troops are quite uh, but you know, to adjust to every situation. And that is what is being proved at the moment. Uh, indeed, we are having a lot of equipment coming in, and it has enhanced the morale and the performance of, of the operation. Okay, are you at liberty to say the kind of equipment that have come in? Uh, maybe I will just be general. General in the sense that uh, the essence of the equipment coming in uh, mainly to enhance the firepower delivery. And uh, we give confidence to the boys that are moving uh, to ensure that we do it on air as, as we have always done at the hazard level of division, uh, to ensure that every advance uh, is properly covered by the activities of the Air Force and that uh, every uh, required fund that is necessary to uh, dominate the battle space is put into place. Uh, like you say, you saw a while ago, the, the chief of Esther uh, was explaining how that even the equipment they were, were being adjusted. Uh, they are working very well on the field, and many more are coming in. And on an incremental basis, they have made very good effect on the mission. Oh, okay, you, you just talked about the Air Force. What about the, the on ground, the troops on ground? Well, uh, I need the truth that, well, apart from being joined, the operation is also combined. And the, the, the major uh, rules of each of the services is being well placed while the airport is uh, giving the required bank from the air and uh, uh, giving cover to every advance on the field. The troops are moving in and are occupying the streets and uh, clearing the terrorists uh, on the ground. Uh, like it happened uh, in Borno, even the Gombe you mentioned, uh, the, the one thing that made it very you know, successful to clear those terrorists quickly after Ugumbi was the intervention of the Air Force, uh, which will normally enhance whatever the, anybody can do on ground. And the coordination between the forces has been very tremendous. Uh, in the highly coordinated fashion of delivery of efforts on ground uh, is encouraging and enhancing the morale of the men on the field. Uh, are we expecting more equipment, General? So definitely, like I said, it is incremental. We keep getting them in uh, because a number had earlier been ordered. Uh, those who were ordered are coming in. And uh, as they come in, they, they are deployed almost immediately. Even before they arrive, uh, men have been training on how to use some of them and uh, where they are required. Well, you, you, as, as they come in, they are deployed instantly. You did say that. Uh Maybe by the end of today, you will give more briefing about some of the operations that has been impacted upon. Will that include... Uh, exactly. What I mean to say is that it is it's in progress. Uh, there is no stopping. Uh, every second, even as I speak to a lot, is ongoing in the field. And uh, on a progressive basis, uh, as much of it as we can disclose, we'll be discussing as we go on. Will that include some business for us? Today night and this morning, a lot of achievement was made. Would that include some information about uh, the operation in uh, Sambesa Forest? Well, don't even be particular. The, the effort is to get at every uh, place they, have, they intend to make as an enclave or, or camps or use for their activities. But you know, Sambesa Forest is not that circumstance uh, or, or materials that people have wanted to see. All along, in one form or the other, we have had operations in that vicinity, either in the form of or the form of uh, actual uh, attack. Uh, so just 
watch out for the outcome of the subsequent activities in that area. And uh, by the time we are through, we will see something more clear. What can you also tell us about personnel? Uh, you, people have raised concerns about how we're able to get more equipment, but that some of the uh, well personnel is also still a challenge for the Nigerian military. Can you tell us anything about that? Well, thank you, because uh, it's not even all about equipment, but the disposition of those uh, uh, to use the equipment. Uh, a lot of... Uh, you know, encouragement has come into them, and uh, uh, like we mentioned some times ago, the concern has been in the form of discipline. Uh, evidently, from the performance now, discipline has improved. Uh, there's a high level of commitment, uh, and everyone is more conscious of the need to get this result as quickly as possible. Can we also and say the uh, concern ordinarily would have been the discipline uh, comments and very discouraging attitude of many Nigerians, but from one indication, it has not deterred the commitment of the men to move in the Are we also worried about the number of troops that we have deployed? There is also a rising concern as to how many we actually have on the ground. Well, this is where the uh, input of our uh, colleagues in the region comes in, because one important element of this uh, mission is the, the, the number that could be deployed, the, the, the manpower uh, volume or, or, or status, uh, is increasing on, an, uh, you know, on, on a very regular basis. Apart from the one we are putting in from Nigeria, we are also having animals putting more men into their own uh, aspect of division. So, continuously, once the division is achieved, the number of men required to keep uh, being put into it. All right, General. Uh, uh, tell us then, uh, before the elections, are we, from the look of things, likely to have uh, a conducive scenario, if you could have used that word, before or during the elections? All I can say at the moment is uh, to request that uh, as much as everybody can put in the effort and we're optimistic that the concerns of everyone, whether they are in the field fighting or everyone, including the of the media, for as long as you can put in your best to ensure that our nation enjoys the required peace, we believe that we, we can hold on to opportunity. All right, thank you very much indeed for speaking with us today. Thank you. Uh, that's uh, Major General Chris Olukolagi, Director of Defense Information, speaking to us about uh, developments within the northeast area and security generally. We'll be back after the break. Join us again.